Your assignment last night was to read about the seven churches in Revelation. And we were going to dive into the second part of the number seven. However, we realize we have got to take a step back before we can move forward. So as you are reading the next few chapters, and my challenge for you is to continue to read through these chapters tonight, I want you to understand what was going on at this time. And for every emperor, the idea behind it was that you lived in such a way so that after you died, you would be worshipped. But the emperor at this time, Domitian, was actually wanting to be worshipped while he was still alive. And his entire goal was to bathe his empire in the blood of Christians. Think about that for a second. We have the opportunity to worship God in any way that we choose. And we've been given the instruction manual through the Bible. And at times we don't do it and we choose not to do it because we feel like, oh my goodness, what if people look at us differently, think of us differently, maybe say things about us. But at this time, people were worshiping to the point of death, to the point where the emperor wanted them to bow down to him. And if they chose not to, they were killed for it. And he bathed his entire empire in it. And yet because of this world, we pull back when it comes to our faith. It's time for us to step up. It's time for us to take the battle to this world. It's time for us to love people and care for people in such a way that they can see that we're on fire, they can see there's something different, and they want to get a little bit closer so they can find out what that is. But that's a choice that we have to make personally. And by making that personally, we can continue along the path that God has for each one of us specifically. We'll continue with the number seven, and we'll see you tomorrow.